Well, who's a good boy down there? Are you a good boy? Oh, do boo? Oh, oh, do boo do? I found this eco park in the mangrove forest, and it's six thousand real to enter. like they're hard at work. Cool. How you doing? Hi, building. Yeah, construction. Oh, you speak English perfect. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I hope so. Where are you from? New York. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where are you from? Canada. All right. It's your place. Nah, it's his place. Oh. That's his place. This camp is his place. It is, yeah. We just work for him. These, these guys are uh, building a new restaurant. It's gonna be like an antique store, like a museum for like antiques. We sell like art, like you know, stuff from like old, old Khmer. Yeah, artifacts. right, right, Khmer stuff. And here's gonna be like a hot dog stand, a hamburger stand, because like, we have a lot. And this is like the Khmer noodle. Oh yeah. yeah. So we don't want to be unfair. We want to have like Khmer tradition food. Plus we have the American hot dogs, burger, fries. Right. What was, the, what was this place like before the yeah, pandemic? Was it? Was it was bad. Mm. It was trash everywhere. It's been nine months we cleaned it up. Mm. So I mean, we just came back. This is like, it was bad. I mean, it yeah. was trash everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Fish was dying. Mangrove was dying. Wow. So now we preserve it. So Some you guys the, cleaned it up? Oh, yeah. It took like three, four months. To clean Some of the up. beaches I've seen are terrible. Just, I, I, I know, especially on uh, Longset Beach. Yes. I, I walked and I cleaned it up myself. But I don't know. I, I hope people look at what I'm doing. But I don't think they are. What What do you want to tell people? Please keep it clean. No trash. Let's keep our beaches clean. The shoreline clean. You know. Do you think the trash, though, it's coming from the ocean and landing on the shores? Yes, yeah, it's affecting. Plus, also the community and the tourism. They have to be aware what you know, what kind of damage is doing to our shoreline. You know what I mean? And it's not just for us. It's for the generation. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's really it's sad. So, but I've I've seen um. I went to Lonely Beach and I heard in reviews on booking it's covered in litter, right. but now they've cleaned it up. Yes, that's what we try to do. So every little thing counts. So we start with this place, and we move on to another place, clean it up. So the whole island pretty soon, like we'd say like a year or two, trash free, yeah. plastic free. Because we have institute, school, teaching the community, yeah. to pass it on to the tourists. If you have a resort, you're gonna tell your tourists or your guests, Please. We got trash can now. Yeah. Put it there. You know? Yeah. Well, it looks like the island's going to develop with this airport that they're building in the middle of the yeah, island. Yeah. It's, it's. What do the people think about this? It's just for conveniency, pretty much. Yeah. Just convenience, because a lot of people just get boat sick. You know, seasick. They don't like the boat ride. It's too long. So instead of a boat ride, they can just hop on a helicopter or a private jet. Mm. Boom. They here. You know? For the very rich, though. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure they're gonna have like some economy. Some some, yeah, yeah, some budget flights. But do you think it'll really change the island? It seems like they had to destroy a lot of the center of the island. Yeah, they have. And I think it, it tore a lot of the community a lot. But like it tore like, you know, as a part of it, but at the same time we gotta think about the tourism also. I mean we, we survive on that. Yeah. If we don't, who will? I mean yeah. who we won't live. This is an island. And but, that's the mainly we mainly survive on tourism. Are you a tourist? I am here. <laughs> this is my island now. I am yeah. an islander. Yes. Yeah. You know that, right? I mean, our whole world is linked to one place. It's money, it's money, it's money. You know, it's that one chain. And it impacts everyone down the chain. You know, it's like a food chain. And then people don't think that, well, I'm still working from home. I still get paid. But the rest of the people in the world, what are they going to do? Yeah. And all these resorts that have gone yes. out of business, it's yes. not just the owners, but it's also all the Employee. cleaners, the employees. Staff. Right. What are they doing for three years? Exactly. Yeah. For three years. They just at home eating fish. So that uh, we can protect grandma. <laughs> yeah, we protect grandma. And then we're killing everybody else. Thousands yeah. and thousands of people. And shooting up little kids with vaccines. Yes, it Makes no much. sense. Yeah. Here we got what? Cinevac, which doesn't even work. None of them work. Yeah, no, that's true. You know that. Yeah, of We course. all know that. It's just a state of mind. They think they're gonna put a flu, like a shot in you. You know, brain triggers an enzyme. I was like, hey, it's gonna help me. Yeah. 
really just bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, it's total bullshit. This is what's going to help you, is nature. It's nature. This yeah. is it. Get out, smell that fresh air. Go and come back, get some change of clothes, bring a towel. <laughs> this guy is here with his family and they saved this mangrove forest. He said it was just full of litter, it was dying. And uh, he, he talked also about the economic impact of the lockdowns and how not everyone gets to work from home off their laptop. Most of the world suffered badly. But during that time, him and his family, they fixed up this mangrove forest and cleaned it up. He said it, they just took out so much trash you wouldn't believe it. This is a magical world. And I mean, there was trash piled up every, like every crack and crevice. It took us four months to clean it all up. Four months. Four months? Four months. How many people? Eight. Eight to ten people a day. And so was this road already here or were you going through here in like rubber boots? Nah, I'm here we just put it on step by step. So every time we clean up the trash, we put a board, a board, a board like that, you know? One board as you clean, you clean as, as you clean, went. clean, right, underneath, you know? And then step by step, we just thinking, we just go along as how we want it to look like, you know? So eventually we came up with this concept where like, we can't just make a straight path. It wouldn't look right. So we want everyone to just get every feel of it, you know? So we start doing that. Then we come up with this concept where, hey, why don't we have an observation center? They can come, relax, focus, re-energize, and go back to whatever they're doing, you know? So that's why we came up with these stuff. Like this, you know? Just relax. You can come here and walk and just sit down, enjoy the moment, you know? Yeah. That's it. It's all about, that's all it's, it's about. Just back to nature. Right. You know, and clean nature. Helping. It's great. Yeah, being a So the trash was suffocating the... Mangrove, yes. And the marine life was dying. Now we're getting back. We're getting crabs back. Fish is everywhere. Yeah, I saw the crabs. Yeah. You got you got crawfish coming back. Baby crawfish. So we don't want no one to be fishing here. And, and the bad thing is we have no electricity. So we can only do it till like 6 o'clock or 5.30 before it gets like pitch black mm. so you know how hard that is oh there's a little crab yeah. let's see if we can get a shot of this crab you got it sweet there he is hiding in his little hole no see, did you get it no it's funny. well you got it before it was too late that's right we did i mean the pandemic just didn't affect the human it affects everything i mean i i was thinking like if it, if it keeps going on for like another four more years like that, I think everything will die. Our planet will just suffocate itself. Just yeah. from the garbage washing up. Right, right. All our garbage that, that's out in the oceans. Yes. And right now we have it every single corner of Shesor. Like every shoreline you go to, you'll see it trash everywhere, you know? Yeah. And that's the main thing. It's like no one even cares. Like they see it. I see like. Oh, I care. I've been. I do. I've been making videos complaining about it all the time. But like, what? I'm one guy with yeah, a backpack. Exactly. What am I going to do? Yeah, and I, I think the same thing. But if I lived here, I would not tolerate it. No, I, I can't. You know, and I tell people. But one thing I see is mostly like the Europeans, the American. Now they're helping out. They're walking around the shoreline with like trash bag. I'm thinking that is so great. You know? Yeah. Why don't the locals care? Are they too busy trying to figure out how to make make a buck? Well. I don't think they, like, you know, it's complicated because there's certain things that they can do and we can't do, you know? But for them to like stop what they're doing and then trying to preserve and all that, it's like, they have to go through step, do process, you know yeah. what I mean? It's not like we, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a program out there. They have programs out there, but it's grant. It's grants that we have to like, you know, in order for you to get it, you have to apply against like six, seven other people, mm -hmm. projects. So like, I just recently applied for a grant here. This is amazing, man. <laughs> wow. Look at this, right? You come out here, boom. Look at that. Yeah, I applied for this one grant to help out like with the biodiversity, you know? And I haven't heard anything back yet. And this is an island. A you grant know? from the Cl Cambodian uh, BNCFF. government? BNCFF. It's a European, European grant. 
So I haven't heard anything yet from them. It's been two weeks now. I sent a proposal. I told them what happened, to put, you know, about the pandemic, you know? It's not like I'm making it up. I lived through it. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I have witnesses. I have trees and plants that are dying. All, so eight of you built all of this in four months? Oh, no, no, no. Eight months. Eight months. Eight months. But we get step by step. And we want everyone to come here, enjoy it, but at the same time, please realize, this is for the long run. And we got to keep it all clean, you know? Yeah. I mean, we can do it as long as everyone get on board. We can do it. And don't, trust me, one man with a camera and a backpack can change the world. <laughs> one man with a camera and a backpack can change the world. That's what my mom says. See? And that's Actually, what, my mom never said that. But hey, I, but I your friend, you... your buddy say it now, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, it seems like the locals are really having a good time. Are these yes. tourists? We are, yeah. yeah. We, they, we, the community. Community. The community people. But we always told them, clean up your trash. Yes. Yeah. But the, the tourists, they know. But it's the community. Yeah. yeah. But they let, we let them have their fun. Uh, double decker restaurant right here. Mm hmm. And here's just gonna be like an observation. We're gonna have like a, a barrier right there. And we're gonna clean that up. And we're gonna have sand. We're gonna have sand banks back. Oh Actually, yeah, I yeah. can see there's still Yeah. As you go, there's more garbage. More. Garbage, 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 right garbage everywhere. It's right there. The mainland I mean like the other island over there. That's the main that's the open channel. So it's washing up yeah. every single day. Every day there's garbage washing up two, into here. I have two staff members that cleans this every single day. And it still washes up. You know, and I have to wait till you know low tide. So it's not just people throwing their garbage down on the ground, it's just all of the ocean oh, dumping oh, it yes, back onto the yes. shore. It washes up here. It'll never end. It'll never end. It'll never end until someone stops putting trash in the water. And and who, who are we? And here we have the community chilling out, yes. enjoying the view. This other item right there. <laughs> That's an island. Over there. It's called Koh Sang San. Koh Sang San. Romance. Romantic island, I think. You know, there's actually people live on there. I'm in love with Koh Rong. <laughs> <laughs> and look at this, you are. Yeah. You have to have a big heart to come to Koh Rong. Which one is the other right island? There. Oh, down there. You see the heart? Yep. Yeah. Koh Sang San. And it's actually a resort over there. It costs $3,000 a night. $3,000 a night yes. if you want to stay there. Three, yes. Only $3,000. Only? Yeah. Yeah. I know I can't afford it. That's, that's my two month budget. <laughs> no, that's, that's my whole year budget. <laughs> and then, oh, so, what's your name? I'm Joey. Joey? Yeah, man. Joey, okay. I guess I dab. Oh. Yeah, it's my buddy. That's the owner. Soap. Soap. This is the, the second hand man. That's the, the boss man. That's the boss. El Jefe. This is his stuff. El Jefe. Yes, thank you. He, he did all this. He did all he this. He got a big heart, yeah. He did all this. He saved. We helped. He's the hero. You saved. We helped. You yeah. saved the mangrove forest. Yes, he did. He, You're like Batman. He is. See the other island? Yeah. It's the same thing. It's full of trash piled up over there. And that's our next project. Okay, so this island here is also full of trash, oh, and that's your next project. That's our next project. Because and do you own the property? He does. You own the property? Yeah. That's all his. Wow. <laughs> okay, I want to build a house right there. You can. Ask him. <laughs> you could. Yeah. He's trying to build a resort over there. Oh, really? So, you yeah. might have a spot. Eco resort, keep it clean. Yes, that's what's up. Eco resort. Mm -hmm. With a horse, natural, nature flowing through the woods. Just horse. What will you name the resort? Do you have a name? Pum Pum Kasnai. Pum Kasnai. It Pum means Kasnai. village of flower. Passionate village, flower. Village of flower, I like it. Yeah. It's catchy. Passionate flower. Okay, well, thank you guys. Uh, thank you so much, brother. What, what a bonus. I walk, I, I just pull Amen. over on the side of the road and I get a million YouTube views for sure. Hey, love <laughs> go wrong, all right? Uh, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.